Good evening, the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Lake Van Pollution will be sold in the framework of protection events project. Haritunian Shoigu discussed tension on Armenian-Azerbaijani border, programs for the development of high-value agriculture in Artsakh. Erdogan scored goal on his own gate or a possible precedent for recognizing the genocide against Armenians. A new record of devaluation of the Turkish lira has been registered. Undiscovered places of Western Armenia, Keshish Lake, a village museum and a lodge representing the historical capital of Ani are being built in Bagravan. Bartadon, dedicated to Sayat Nova, was held without concert. Work has begun to prevent pollution and leave the lake cleaner for future generations in Western Armenia Lake Van, which contains the largest amount of soda. In this context, the steps to be taken to protect Lake Van were discussed in cooperation with the Ministry of Environment, Urban Development, Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry, Ilbank General Directorate, Region Center, Vincent Channel University, Ipek Yolu, Tushpa, Arches and Artamet municipalities. After the relevant assessments, all the causes of the pollution were reported, and the Lake Van Basic Conservation Plan was prepared to prevent the lake from being polluted by sewage and solid waste. The Lake Van Symposium, which is scheduled to be held in Van on June the 1st, the program events will be finalized, and the roadmap for conservation work will be determined. As part of the Conservation Action Plan, demolition work on the barns around the lake continues. Active Minister of Defense of Armenia Vagarshak Harutunyan had a telephone conversation on Monday with the Minister of Defense of Russia, Sergei Shoigu. The heads of the defense ministers of two strategic alliances discussed the situation on the Armenian-Azerbaijani border and the ways to implement the agreements reached during a meeting in Moscow last week to resolve the situation. The Minister of Defense of Armenia informed News.AM. The interlocutors referred also to the main directions of the reforms initiated in the Armenian Armed Forces, the mission carried out by the Russian peacekeeping contingent in Artsakh, as well as the key regional security issues and the joint actions to counter them. In a conversation with Artsakh Press, Tigran Arstamyan, Artsakh's Deputy Minister of Economy and Agriculture, said that farmers who wish to import pedigree animals from abroad will benefit from preferential terms and the state will subsidize 50% of the cost. The amount of support provided to greenhouses has been revised. The cost of seedlings of newly established orchards will be reimbursed from a minimum of half a hectare and a maximum of 10 hectares. All the main fruits that are cultivated in the territory of our republic are included in the program, said Deputy Minister of Economy and Agriculture Vilena Avetisyan. According to him, due to the 44-day war, Arsakh lost about 95,000 hectares of arable land. This is the reason why the ministry urges them to engage in high-value agriculture. Sputnik Armenia columnist analyzes Germany's decision to pay compensation for the genocide of the peoples of South Africa. What impact can it have on the way to the recognition of the genocide against Armenians? The German authorities showed the Turkish leaders the civilized way to solve the problems created by their ancestors. Germany officially recognized and condemned the genocide committed by the imperial colonizers in the territory of modern Namibia at the beginning of the last century. Moreover, Berlin expressed readiness to provide compensation. The parallels between the crimes of the German settlers and the crimes of the Ottoman Young Turks are quite appropriate. Another important precedent has been set, which will undoubtedly bring the day of the final international recognition of the genocide against Armenians. It is about the events that took place in 1904 to 1908. In those years, Germany was still a metropolis that ruled over many African colonies. You can read the whole article on our website. Instability in the Turkish foreign exchange market continues. The Turkish national currency, the Turkish lira, which has been depreciating sharply against the dollar, the euro and the pound sterling over the past year, reached a historic record of depreciation on May 28. The highest exchange rate was set at 86,136 Turkish lira on May 28, 2020, after the exchange rate of 8.58 lira against the dollar in November, which was the historical record of the lira. This index is a new record in the history of the Turkish lira. Lake Keshish, a remnant of the Eurasian region of Van in western Armenia, continues to fascinate its visitors. Keshish Lake is located in the valley of Mount Erek, 30 km away from Van. The 4 square kilometer lake and the surrounding mountains and plateaus are the main tourist attractions. The 2,700-year-old Lake Keshish was created by Eurasian King Rusa II to irrigate agricultural lands. 
The lake, located at an altitude of 2,550 meters above sea level, the area of which fluctuates between 4 to 7 square kilometers, has a catchment area. Lake Kashish, which is visited by hundreds of local and foreign tourists every year, is silent this year due to the epidemic, although many citizens go to the lake every day to collect plants growing in the area. It is worth visiting Lake Kashish, dear compatriots, if you have the opportunity, would definitely recommend visiting, both in terms of getting to know our historical sites and enjoying the holidays. The village of Bagravan in the Ani region has the status of a border. The village of Norshain Kharkov is located in the border zone. It is an administrative part of Bagravan. These villages were considered the suburbs of the historical capital of Ani, where houses were built of any quarry stones. The stones of the destroyed and abandoned houses became a wall for the museum and the house in Bagravan. This region was a heaven for traders coming to Ani. The house under construction will have one function. There will be a village museum where the village life and culture will be presented. The old and forgotten agricultural tools are the first exhibits that were collected from different villages of Shirak region and moved to Bagravan. With the example of Bagravan, they decided to show and use the tourism potential of the villages, which can directly change the living standards of the villagers. The annual festival dedicated to Sayat Nova was held without concert this year. Vartatoni celebrated in the last week of May. A concert is held in the old district of Tbilisi, in Gorgasari Square of Maidan. However, this year it was held in other way, due to the coronavirus restrictions. The Armenian community of Georgia led a march from Hovannes to Manyan House Museum to St. Georg Church, where Sayat Nova is buried. They put red roses on his grave. Now we present you Aigun Aigun by Khorem Palian. <laughs> The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.